Hope everybody's having a joyous Christmas today, and if uh, you celebrate another holiday, I hope it is equally as peaceful, joyous, and festive as it can possibly get. Let's all end the year on a good note, shall we? Now, this one is in particular one that I wanted to make for Springer, but I really think it'll help everybody else out too. I have been checking out a few apps for figuring out your feed, and I haven't been real impressed with any of them. And I just kept thinking back to this spreadsheet that I had downloaded years and years ago and how easy it was for me to work with. And as you may have seen in one of my other videos, I make feed for cattle and hogs for a living. And to my surprise, my boss doesn't use anything real fancy to calculate all of his feed either. He uses a spreadsheet also. So today I'm going to show you my spreadsheet and explain to you how to set it up. So if you have a Gmail account, that means you have access to Google Drive. So if you go to Google Drive, it'll pull up in a new window, and then I'm going to go to Quick Access, and I'm going to click this one that I made called Chicken Feed. And that'll pull up a new tab. So this is how I'm going to be calculating my feed. I'll explain it to you here. I've got my ingredients listed, and then this is the only column that I mess with when I am calculating my feed. And all I do is I type in the different weights of the different ingredients, and it recalculates it automatically. The nice thing about this is you can put in all these different ingredients that are available in your area and let's say you have a type of feed that goes on sale and you decide to stock up on it. Or your regular feed goes up in price and you have to readjust what you're doing. This will allow you to do that. So, there is no um, formula that you have to worry about for these cells. This is a column going top to bottom. This is called a row. Each box is called a cell. Now, I formatted them up here with this toolbar so that I had some in green and some that are not. When it all comes out at the bottom, it tells me how many pounds my mix comes out to. It tells me what the protein percentage of that mix will be, and what the fat percentage of that mix will be, and what it will cost me to make. i got to fix this little guy right here. Let's see. I'll come back to that one later. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing while looking through the phone. But anyway, it will tell me when it's all said and done what the different amounts are and all of that so I can adjust it on the fly. Now when you add a new ingredient you will have to come down here and adjust 
your formulas because it's going to add a row and that's going to change the numbers down here. So let's go to this one. For this column, it calculates the percentage of the ingredient in your feed ration. So right now, if I put five pounds of scratch feed in, that's 11.11% .11 of my ration. Okay, and the formula you need to figure out your total is up here. It's equal sum parentheses, then your first cell in this column to your last one above the total. So I'm going from 2 to 23. And that will calculate everything here and add it up as a total down here. Now, these ones here, you need a different formula, which is equals, and then what you're doing is you're taking whatever number that cell is, so this is B2 divided by your total cell down here. So it's B2 divided by B24. And that comes over to here and tells you what your percentage is. That's how I got my 11.11%. .11%. It is saying 5 divided by 45 equals 11.11%. .11%. Now, this column as it says, is my protein percent. And it goes, I'll just show this real quick, so that one's B2 to B24, the next one would be B3 to B24, B4 divided by B24, and so on. So over in this column, it is equals, and I'm going to go C2, which is your percentage, times E2. So it's taking this times this to figure out the percentage of the protein. So as you can see right now, my scratch, as 11.11% .11 of the ration, and it has only 8% protein, comes out to 0.89% of my total ration which comes out to an 18.06% ration. The formula for this one is equal sum comma D22 through, that's what the double dots there means, through D23. So it's basically adding up all of these percentages from 2 down to 23 to come out to this. Similarly, this column there is no formulas. You just, when you're typing in your new ingredient, you type in what it says on the package, 17%. Then over here is my fat percentage. And again, it's going to be a times, so it's going to be equal C22 again, because it's referencing how much of a percentage it is in your total ration, times G2, which is just a list of fat contents, just like your protein content. This one has no formula to type in. And basically, once you've set up your formulas, you just copy and paste it all the way down and make sure that the numbers are where they need to be. So this is C2 times G2. Your next one would be C3 times G3, C4 times G4, and so on. When you get down here to your total, it is a sum 
of the top to the bottom of this column. Then over here, I decided to do prices. So I went cost per pound, which I took the price of the bag of feed divided by how many pounds because some are 40 pound bags, some are 5 pound bags, some are 50 pound bags. And it gives me how many cents per pound that feed is. As you can see, this poultry conditioner, that's a buck sixty a pound. Come back over here to price. It is B3 times I3. So we're referencing this column again times the cost per pound. So it calculates five pounds of scratch. I don't have that at that formula entered in here over yet because I just added these this morning but it'll take that five pounds of scratch times however many cents per pound it is and it'll tell you how many dollars worth of feed you're using of that type of feed and then again at the bottom it's going to say how much it is total so it'll say for 45 pounds of feed it's going to cost you this much to make per pound or excuse me not per pound this one will tell you per pound this one will just tell you the batch amount now you can make this as complicated or as easy as you want if you want to go in further and add additional columns figuring out your amino acids and um, those types of things that's completely fine most of the feeds, especially if you're mixing some kind of pelleted poultry feed or crumbled poultry feed in there, already have the aminos you need. So basically whatever extra you're getting from the other ingredients is, yeah, it's kind of wasted aminos, but at the same time, I honestly don't know if having too many aminos is a bad thing or if it would or how much you would need for it to have adverse effects. Now, the only other thing I got going on over here, and I'm filling this in as I'm working on this, because this is pretty new setup I've got, is once I do all my research, I'm going to set up a target protein and a target fat for a yard feed, a breeder feed, a winter feed, pheasants, waterfowl, molting, grower, probably do a starter as well. And I'll just set these over here as a table so that as I'm playing around over here, I can reference this and say, okay, I'm still 2% too low on my protein. And then that tells me I got to keep adjusting over here until I get it right. Or right now, as you can see, the fat content's pretty high. Most poultry feeds you're looking at, uh, oh, let's see here. Poultry conditioner, you got a 6% protein or fat. Um, all flock, we're looking at 2.5. I think it's usually around 2.5 to 3.5 is what you're going to find. But I figure a higher fat content's okay in the winter. Now, the other thing I got going on is down here. I'm going to make another table showing my current mix so that I can save rations once I've made them. And then I can just go back to that, you know, and throw it up in here and say, okay, going back to this old ration is going to be cheaper. And then we'll buy our feed accordingly. It takes a little bit of getting used to. And the main thing here is... You have to have your uh, your formulas correct, or else it's not going to calculate it right. But once you do, all you got to do is just play with this column here. Everything else runs on autopilot, and you're going to be able to adjust your feed on the fly throughout the season. And as you get good deals on feed, it's going to save you money on feed. And not only that, but I'm also going to work on a similar spreadsheet. I don't want to put it on this one because I don't want to 
make it overkill, but I'm going to make one that's going to calculate how much feed I'm using so that I know how much feed to buy. And the other thing I'll say before wrapping this up is since this is on Google Drive, if you have someone that helps you with chores or you have someone who's buying feed for you or you're in a store yourself and you see a new ingredient, you can pull this up on your phone and adjust it right then and there and say, okay, that, that would be worth buying or no, that I don't need that. And obviously if you have someone that's going to feed for you if you're gone for a weekend or whatever, it's best to have the feed already made but if something happens and they have to make it you can share your ration off of this or if you have someone that helps you on a regular you can share this entire document through Google Drive with them so there you go I hope this helps you consider this my Christmas gift to you all um, there's people out there that explain formulas and spreadsheets way better than me but I just wanted to show this to you to give you something to mull over and try for yourself so thank you for watching and again Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching share subscribe whatever you feel like doing